Welcome to Ninja Note. Today, we are going to talk about the cubital fossa, which is an important area of transition between the arm and the forearm. It is located anterior to the elbow joint and it is a triangular depression formed between the forearm muscles. At first, let's have a look at its borders. As it is a triangular depression, it has three main borders such as superior, lateral and medial borders. The superior border or the base is formed by the hypotherial line between the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle of the humerus bone. The lateral border is the brachioradialis muscle and the medial border is the pronator teres muscle. Now let's have a look at its contents. There is a mnemonics for that that is really need beer to be at my nicest. Uh, those are radial nerve, biceps tendon, brachial artery and the median nerve. So this is the radial nerve, this is the biceps tendon and this is the brachial artery that is going to bifurcate into the radial artery and the ulnar artery at its apex. This is what usually happens but there are some clinical cases where this brachial artery is bifurcates into the radial and ulnar arteries at its cubical fossa itself and we have the median nerve here and also we have the ulnar nerve uh, posterior to the medial epicondyle of the humerus bone. And also this cubital fossa has roof and floor. The roof consists of the skin and fascia and also it is reinforced by the bicipital aponeurosis. And the floor is proximally formed by the brachialis muscle and distally it is formed by the supinator muscle. Now let's go through these pictures. This picture is for the uh, borders. As I told you earlier, this is the lateral border and it is formed by the brachioradialis muscle and this is the medial border and it is formed by the pronator teres muscle and the superior one it is formed by the hypothelial line between the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle of the humerus bone. Here we can see um, yeah here we can see the contents of this cubital fossa. Um, those are the see uh, the biceps brachii muscle okay. And the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle is going through the cubital fossa. And the brachial artery, it is coming and it is bifurcating into the radial artery and the ulnar artery. And the median nerve is also passing through this. And here we have the bicipital aponeurosis. What is that? That is the roof. The roof is reinforced by the bicipital aponeurosis. And here we have the ulnar nerve that is passing posterior to the medial epicondyle of the humerus bone and in this picture we can clearly see the deep branch of the radial nerve so that is the that is also one of the contents of this cubital fossa see this picture and there is one more thing that uh, within the roof of this cubital fossa the median cubital vein is running through that and the um, clinical significance of this median cubital vein is this uh, median cubital vein can be accessed for the vena puncture that is it about this topic today guys thank you for watching